Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie Review and welcome to another Filmora tutorial. Now recently I did a video on how to do motion tracking on a single object. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can do motion tracking on multiple objects and this is super simple again so stay tuned let's dive in. Okay, so the same principles apply when we're motion tracking multiple objects. The object we want needs to have reasonably good lighting and it needs to be in frame for the duration of the tracking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this piece of video down to our timeline. And it's basically me and Skittles. This is about a year and a half ago. So this is me and Skittles on the beach. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna track Skittles and we're also going to track me. So first of all, depending on how many objects you want to track, we need to, you want to make a copy for each object you want to track. So we're going to copy, we're going to be tracking two objects here. So Skittles and myself. So select the, the, the video clip you want to use, right click, copy, and then we've got to right click, paste. Okay. And we've got those above each other now. So first of all, we're just going to hide the second video track because we're going to just work up these one at a time so we're going to hide our second video track make sure our playhead is back at the beginning select our first video which is on video track one go to tracking got our tracking box here so we're going to select skittles to, as our first tracking object and let's start tracking okay Nice and simple. Okay, and what we'll do is we're gonna add some text to that. So we'll drag this text here. This is gonna go onto our third video track. Just extend that out. Type in Skittles, add some color, and then we're gonna resize this. And go back into tracking and select default title to track. So now if we play our sequence, and there we go, Skittles <laughs> is being tracked. Okay, now let's move on to adding tracking for myself and add a title there. So just to make things a little easier, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hide our first video track our title track which is on track three and then we're going to unhide our second track which is the second video clip that we copied and then we're going to do the same again so we highlight it go to tracking put the tracking box over the subject or the object start tracking and then if we go to titles if we drag this title onto our timeline and this will go onto video track four and just extend it out to make sure it's obviously the same length as everything else so let's give it a name let's resize add a bit of color okay go back to video track two and then we're gonna track default title. So if we play this now, all we should see is this tracking me now. So there we go. <laughs> Perfect. Right, so here the, the, the fun stuff begins. So what we want to do is unhide our track three, which is our first title, which is Skittles, and that reappears. We want to hide our track two, I know they're exactly the same, so you shouldn't see them, but what do we want to process anything we don't need to? So we're going to hide our video track two, but then unhide our original track one. So if we come back to the beginning, run our sequence, and then we have tracking two separate <laughs> objects. It is that simple. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to 
like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'll be doing lots of these videos over the coming weeks and months. If you've got any questions, any comments, I would love to hear from you from below. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.